Timmy, what is this cute hair? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Hindash and Timmy. For today's video, I'm doing this really cool kind of double liner look on Danielle, which you have seen on my Instagram. I have another video that I did with her that I really want to upload as well. So for this look, I went for kind of a graphic liner, but I didn't want to go too crazy, but still give it a bit of a twist, if that makes sense. So if you want to see how I did this look, then please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up and a comment down below. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. All right, so I have the beautiful Danielle here and I'm going to be starting off with skincare and I'm going to be just refreshing her skin with the Caudalie Grape Water, just a light mist. And for a serum, I'm going to be using the Vichy Mineral 89, which is a hyaluronic acid serum. And I'm just going to be applying that all over the skin. And just massaging that and working it into the skin, it's going to sink in really fast and just prep the skin for whatever is coming on top of it. And take it down the neck as well. For a moisturizer, I'm going to be taking the Ulla Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. And I'm going to be applying that all over her face again, massaging it in. And this has vitamin C in it, so it's really going to brighten the skin and it really feels beautiful underneath makeup and it smells like oranges which is amazing i suggest you guys try gentle vitamin c serums or products first because i know some people might be sensitive to them that was me in the beginning as well and then i kind of built up my tolerance you just have to find the products that work for you again i'm not a skincare expert <laughs> and i'm going to be using the milk makeup cooling water eye patches before i do foundation because i'm going to start with eyes and it's going to kind of catch any fallout so it's kind of a bonus Starting off with the eyes, I'm taking the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base in dark and light, and I'm going to be mixing that together to create kind of a medium shade. So mixing that on a palette and applying that all over the lids as a primer and to kind of give me a base color underneath for shadows to go on top of. And you guys know I love to do this because I love to kind of map out the shape of where I want the eyeshadow to go before I do shadow and I do that with primers. Next, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows in number one, which is true neutrals. And I'm taking the Lauder Matte Color and putting that all over the brow bone to kind of prep for the blend and to make sure everything is seamless. And then I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Fly Pencil Longwear Liner in the color in Big Truffle, which is a brown. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be mapping out the shape of the liner and the eye. So I'm going to be pulling that out and smudging it in. And then going over that with a matching eyeshadow and just smudging it and blending just to kind of set everything. And I'm going to be taking that into the crease from the wing. So from the outer corner, going into the crease very slightly, and then I'm going to build up that blend and how far the crease goes in. So with a fluffier brush and dipping into the two browns, I'm going to be blending further into the crease and upwards. So we get that really nice blend and everything looks very soft and airbrushed. I'm dipping into my MAC Semi Sweet Times 9 eyeshadow palette and taking that kind of nude beige eyeshadow and putting that on the lid just to brighten it and bring it forward. Nothing crazy. Which I then cover with shimmer. So nothing too precise. I'm just kind of setting the base that I did underneath. For eyeliner, I'm going with another brown and this is the House Labs Eyeliner in Whiskey. And I'm going to be lining over that line that I did, but this time it's going to be much more crisp and then it kind of diffuses into the shadow. And because it's a brown, it's not going to be harsh. So we still are going to kind of enjoy that blend that we did. And it's not just going to be covered with black. Next, I'm going to be taking a bit of that mix of the primer that I did on the lower lash line to prep it for shadow with a fluffy brush. And then going into that medium brown, I'm going to be smudging that on the lower lash line and focusing it on the outer corner. Just to define and tie in that work that we did on top. Taking the eye patches off, now I can start working on the skin. But first I'm going with the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream and putting that underneath the eyes and tapping it in gently. So that concealer goes on top of it really nicely. And as usual, I'm going to be tapping that very gently under the eyes until it sinks in. And I'm going to be putting that on any dry spots that she might have in between her brows and around the mouth. For primer, I'm taking the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer and I'm going to be applying that all over the face. I actually really like this primer. I haven't been using it a lot on camera, but I think it's a great, great primer. It feels kind of very sticky, but it doesn't... I don't know how to explain it because I've used it myself. It really grips onto the makeup. It kind of just makes your makeup last all day and it looks very beautiful and refreshed. To prep her lips, I'm going to be taking the Glossier Coconut Balm.com lip balm. 
and just applying a generous layer all over the lips. To highlight underneath the foundation, I'm taking the NARS Multiple Stick in South Beach, and I'm just going to be putting that on the high points of the face. So again, this is just going to peek very lightly through the foundation and make everything look very luminous and dewy without it being overboard. Don't put highlighter all over your face because you only want to bring forward the areas that you want to highlight. For foundation, I'm taking the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Tahoe. And I'm going to be applying that in very thin layers with a Kabuki brush. This is the Sigma F80, and I love it. So working in very thin layers, taking it down the neck very lightly with whatever is left, because you want everything to be nice and unified. And then tapping it in as well as buffing it in, because you get that very airbrushed, beautiful finish. And when you get to the forehead, use as little foundation as you can. Don't use a lot because it's going to settle into lines. It's going to, it's not going to look as flattering. Just trust me on this. You can bronze your forehead and it's going to look much more cohesive. For contouring and warming up her face, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Truffle. And I'm going to be putting that in all the areas where I kind of want to contour the face and shape it and bring more dimension back to the skin after we've done foundation. So on the cheekbones, I'm going to be contouring the tip of the nose as well, a bit on the forehead to bring in some color, and a bit on the jawline and chin. All the areas that I love to contour and bronze. <laughs> as well as the top of the cupid's bow. I'm going to be blending everything with the brush that I already highlighted with because it has product on, and I feel like that just creates a very seamless blend when you already have product on the brush. And when you get to the cheeks, you really want to blend upwards and out. You don't want to drag the contour down because that's going to kind of defeat the purpose of placing the contour higher up because you want to lift your face and lift your features. And you don't want to just drag everything down. And for concealer, I'm going to be taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer with a damp beauty blender, and I'm going to be placing that underneath the eyes. And what I'm doing with this concealer is basically I'm going to be highlighting more than I am going to be concealing and covering. So I'm more about brightening the skin and bringing more dimension in. Because we're going for a really flawless, glowy base, we're going for makeup today. I'm setting everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder very lightly on a brush. I'm not really baking, I'm just tapping that powder very gently over the areas that I want to set. And whatever's left on the brush, I'm going to be tapping that all over the face because we want a nice set face as well for this look. Glowy, matte, and radiant at the same time. For cream blush, I'm taking the Nude Stick Nudies Matte in Sunset Strip, one of my all-time favorites. I mean, I can't say enough good things about this blush. And I'm going to be placing that pretty high up on the cheeks, but also bringing it in a tiny bit so we give her that sun-kissed look. And blending everything in with that same brush so we have a seamless finish between the blush and the contour and the highlight. <laughs> I'm going to be filling in her brows with the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP in black brown. And I'm not going too wild, I'm just going to enhance the shape of her brows that she already has. I'm just going to be filling in any gaps. And I'm doing that by filling her brows with very thin strokes. I'm going up and out, kind of creating that full bushy brow without it being too crazy and really defining the arch of the brow so it looks very full and nice. I'm going to be setting everything with the Urban Decay Brow Finish Gel in Ozone, which is a clear brow gel. So just brushing the brows up and keeping them in place. And of course, it's going to add to the fluffiness of the brows. Now I'm taking that same brown liner from House Labs, and I'm creating a double wing underneath the lower lash line, and kind of going underneath by leaving a bit of a gap between the lash line and the lower lid and connecting everything to the outer wing. And I feel like this creates a very kind of 60s mod graphic liner that's really, really beautiful on Danielle. And it opens up her eyes and just gives it a bit more of that interesting edge to the look. Kind of like 70s disco at the same time. <laughs> For mascara, I'm taking the Marc Jacobs Atlashed Mascara and I'm just going to be running that through the lashes. And I've decided to go for the lighter base on the lid again because I'm going to put a shimmer on top. Now you can leave it matte if you want. I think it looks beautiful all matte. But I decided to go for more of that disco vibe. So as a cream shimmer base, I'm taking the Nude 6 Magnetic Luminous Eye Color in Praia. And I'm going to be tapping that all over the lid. And that's going to give us a really nice shimmer base. On top of that, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in Afternoon Snack and Mo Honey. And I'm going to be tapping that with my finger on top so it really just creates a beautiful sheen. 
putting a bit of individual lashes on on the outer corners. These are Ardell individuals in medium. And to set the cream bronzer and contour that I did, I'm taking the MAC Totally Topless Radiant Matte Bronzing Powder over these areas. Just because I like to set the creams that I do with powders. So this step is optional if you feel like you are set with just cream alone or with powder alone. For lipstick, I'm taking the NARS Kiss Me Stupid lipstick, which is a beautiful kind of deep peach. It's a very orangey peach undertone nude lipstick, which I love. And I wanted to go for those tones on Danielle. So just putting that all over the lips, and then I'm going to be outlining everything with the MAC Lip Pencil in Chestnut. Just to tie in and give her a nice contour to the lips. And I think it really does create that beautiful ombre look. And going over everything with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm and Fenty Glow, I mean, a classic. I love the lip gloss. I love how it smells. I love how it feels and looks. And then finally, to tie in the cheeks with the lips, I'm taking the NARS Intensely Blush which is a beautiful orange. It looks so, so beautiful on Danielle too. And it brings out all these orangey, warm, peachy tones in her skin. And then setting everything with the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. And that completes the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of 70s disco infused with 60s mod liner look. I don't know what to call it, but Danielle looks amazing. And I'm so happy to have her back on my channel. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you want to see next. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.